We might let the real work begins. Who's mind to go lose next? Who's mind? Who's mind to go lose next anyway? It's a cold ass <laughs> live show, man. Ugh. It's a cold ass live show. Watch OTS live. I'm watching OTS live on YouTube once again. Who's mind to go lose next? Lace with uh with the intro anyway. Look at this. Got this outro lace with the lace with the intro. Look at this. Oh my God! Seriously, it's the outro. And who's the intro instead? Who's the outro for this?
Go up next, nigga. So you don't go next, motherfucker, that roll with blunts, too. That goes me. You don't see why I go up for you. Go up next, nigga, that can roll with blunts. You can just go to school, bro. Black for black, man. You ain't got to go smoke. So, uh, uh, white one. I'm gonna be hot. Black for black, you know what I mean? Black for black, you know what I mean? Black for black, right? Uh, I, I, oh, yeah, I took, I took this jacket home uh, uh, yesterday. Then, uh, get some shit out there. This is old Navy jacket. It's, uh, it's like a small, size small. This shirt, one more found this jacket on the shirt. It says, broken. You know? That's how the forecast is. That's how the way you forecast is. Broken. Want to get some killing steak, man? Sandy James. Let's go back. Some, let's go back to some old school 1990s Nintendo shit. Some Nintendo shit, nigga. Why the fuck did they just play fire? I don't get this shit. I go have a blunt and have Pepsi, get some kids. Let's start this last show off with a piss hat. Sorry, I did, get, I did not get a chance to uh, be on, uh, on uh, JD's chat room last month because I got too busy fucking with this, with this stupid Division 2 game. Then, day, then, then Thursday, I, 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 I had to play. Uh, the division, the division two again. Finish off this space administration bullshit. I protect the fucking satellites. I failed to bring the drone and the and the turret with me. So I had to go change the approach. I had to go bring the fucking turret and, uh, and the drone with me to take out the other uh, black test members. Then I had to go bring the drone and the turret with me to take out the other No, I did that though, but. I did all that shit, then I'd go all the way into the building and take out all the rest of them, get the sail lights ready in the game and all that. But it's the two missions, it's the two missions I take to take out my provision. Yeah, Space Museum, I finished that bitch. Royal drone with an uh, and a turret with me. Same thing I did with the space and uh, the space administration shit. I know it's a story about this shit, man. See, 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 it's all almost like the film of, uh, of the old, of the old killer instinct game that I used to play. I used to play uh, back in uh, the day. My, 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 my dad used to pop that, uh, that killer instinct game, man. You know what I mean? The Super Nintendo, you know what I mean? That shit. You know, 94, 95. That game was all out like, like hell. I get to the police, brother. I gotta get to listen to this. I gotta 
guy get to listen to this song, bro. Thank fucking God I have to listen to this song, bro. That's like the Killer Instinct song that our Andy James had played for everybody. Look, he comes that two some fighter shit at the end. Don't go for space strippers at the shit. I want to do a smoke and drink live on YouTube again. That's how I did the that's how I did the last time, you know what I mean? Where are the space strippers, man? Where are the space strippers, bro? They got the child uh you got you got you got the child uh Got the man child mark right there. You got a the emblem got man child on it. Look. This man, man and child on it. This right here. This this is like right here. Choose the light. You guys watch this video. I have on YouTube this morning. Hit the like. Hit a like on on um uh, on this video. Then drop a comment. Drop a comment to me. I don't give a I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what you do. Drop a comment below too below. I don't fucking care. Uh, hey Jerry! Hey Jerry D, eh? What's it? Hey Jerry D, eh? Jerry! Hey Jerry, what 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 you what hey Jerry, what what you what you think about the war games thing? That's being set for uh uh uh, uh for men's for men's in, what, what 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 you mean about the men's and women's uh war games uh thing is set? If I was set for Survivor Series uh war games ple, what you think about that, man? Happy hours, happy hours everywhere, Ladies man. Ladies and gentlemen, the, I'm gonna need you to hit that thumbs up before I even get started, man. Hit the thumbs up, people. 253 likes with almost a thousand in the venue already waiting for me is absolutely unacceptable. Yo, give JD a thousand, thousand likes need minimum. To that thumbs up. We're gonna need a thousand minimum. Yes, please, please. Okay, SmackDown tonight. You don't have to do Rampage. We got war games. That little boom. War games that's what, is that's, that's, shaping up very yeah, yeah. nicely, man. That's right. That's right. We got the bloodline. We got the brawling brutes. We got Drew McIntyre. Who else may be added to this chaos in Boston? Four on four, bro. We got the SmackDown World Cup starting tonight. Oh, Ron yeah. Strowman and Jinder Mahal. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to tell you. They go one on one. I found I found his hat today. And we had Santos Escobar. This this this, this, this has different. Santos. This this has different. And Shinsuke Nakamura. This has different than the green one. I'll give you my thoughts and predictions on what I see happening here. And we got a very unexpected altercation between L.A. Knight and Bray Wyatt. What uh -huh. the hell did that mean? What is that, man? We got Sarah Logan back on TV. The Viking yeah, Raiders the are back on TV. They were having it. Cat Moss and they his were girlfriend are having an on screen romance. And Shotzi man. is getting a SmackDown Women's Championship match at Survivor Series. Man, we got a lot to talk about. Viking I'm Raiders going to the OTS and, and, and Sarah Logan are attacking two tag teams. They're attacking Hope two matches. We matches. got the same thing. The Viking Raiders but attacking the guy that was working on it. What the fuck are you guys drinking? Why did Legado attack Hitrow and, and Legado? I'll see you over there. And then, and then, and then, and then he got fucking Theodore, 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 Megan, Trinidad, that budget. Why did I fucking dodge her, 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 her fucking Nike shoes? Especially her Nike Air, Air Force One shoes. Oh, they going with that Batman shit.
Like, what's up with the, with the outro mixing with the intro? What's up with that shit, man? Come on, JD. What you doing, man? I'll, 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 I'll clean this up. Don't worry about any of that. the intro up man we go see some more why has triple h been so successful why is triple h running wwe better than vince mcmahon and bruce Prichard on monday and friday night Long term booking. LTB. Yeah, cold ass last show, bro. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on, guys? Thank you so very much for joining me right here on Off The Script. This I is your Friday Night I the OTS belt. Show for November 11th, 2022. I am your host, JD, from New York. As always, coming to you live from the OTS venue. Thank you guys so very much for joining me on your Friday evenings, wherever you may be. SmackDown tonight, man. Very good show. That's good. SmackDown's been the best show. Yeah. Okay. In my honest opinion, even through the lulls and even through all of Crown Jewel, SmackDown has been largely the most exciting show out of the three big weekly shows, Monday Night Raw and Wednesday Night Dynamite. Yeah. Friday Night SmackDown tonight. No difference. Oh, Excellent yeah. show. We got a lot to talk about. Hell yeah. And we got a lot to dive into, man. War Games and building. Yeah. Very nicely. We got... Some of the ladies in the War Games match at Survivor Series, that was kind of forwarded on Monday. Yeah. And tonight, it's all about the men, because we're going with the Bloodline and the Brawling Brutes. That's now, a, that's War Games, It's going to create a very, very that's interesting war situation. Games, dog. With war games. And I can't wait to see it all unfold. The Bloodline is definitely going to be in War Games. It's going to be Roman, the Usos, and Solo Sokoa, along with Sammy Zayn. Remind, remind, remind me to be back five uh, on five. Remind me to be back on this. Sammy Zayn is in this, on this, the World uh, Cup. On this computer on Monday. The SmackDown World Cup. Uh, uh, the winner of the MTS, SmackDown uh, World Cup gets a uh, WWE World Post shot show. at Gunther, be on, be on the, the Intercontinental chat. Championship. On, uh, so I'm Monday. assuming that Sammy Zayn is not going to win Please, the remind World me, Cup. Remind me to get, remind me to get and the, he's going to uh, win it. Uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know when this match is going to uh, take Monday place. Night. I would it's going to be a Survivor Series because why would you not want to have Gunther defending the Intercontinental title Survivor Series? I think that's a little silly. But regardless of that, it's going to be five on five, and there's only an honorary oose that is suitable for the fifth spot, and that is Sammy Zayn. The Brawling Brutes. Sheamus is back. Pete Dunn, Butch, and Ridge Holland, Drew McIntyre showed up tonight. Oh, yeah. To tie the up Boone's and Boots and Drew McIntyre. To oh, get yeah. Revenge, per se. Boone Boots and Drew McIntyre. Oh, Roman yeah. Reigns. He's joining his best friend, Seamus. Yeah. It makes all the sense in the world. I friends. knew it was going to be Drew McIntyre. Friends, it wasn't going to be the new day. It was definitely going to be Drew McIntyre. I would assume the other. Member of the Brawling Brutes, Andrew McIntyre, the other member of the Babyface Squad going into war games to oh. battle the Bloodline and is going to be none squad. other than Kevin Owens. The Hill Squad. Kevin Owens is going to join them. Kevin Owens has been off TV for a little bit. Everybody's been wondering where Kevin Owens has been. I yeah. reported this on the podcast on Sunday. Yeah, if you guys no. missed it, go check it out. Kevin Owens has been off TV because they're waiting for the ample time. They're waiting for the right time to bring back Kevin Owens. They're waiting for this shit. And put him in the Bloodline story where it's going to facilitate Sammy getting booted ultimately yeah. out so, so. of the Bloodline and there to his rescue. Got, there got to a little soften the blow. I'm sorry about that. It's going to be Kevin Owens. 
And that's going to lead to the Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. That's my prediction. I think it's pretty common sense. It's it's logic that it's going to be heading in that direction. That's the best story out of everything you could possibly tell right now. But when it gets kicked out of the bloodline, there should be none other than Kevin Owens sitting there telling him, I told you so. Now let's get down to business and let's kick some ass. That's going to be a tremendous War Games match. I can't wait to see it. And it's super exciting that we're getting this on the main roster. If you guys know War Games, if you've seen Triple That's H, the War Games, doing. the Undisputed smoking, Era, smoking the blood have been on, in almost YouTube, all of the man. War Games outside of the last That's one that we saw. Blood, it's going to be a tremendous match, man. You got guys like that Pepsi, in that match. It's going to cause a lot of chaos. It's going to be carnage all over the place. Goddamn. I'm very much looking forward to all of that in Boston. The other big thing that we had happen tonight was the World Cup. There's I a just, SmackDown World I just, Cup. I just got to. I just got to. And the winner of this World Cup is an the eight fucking, man in the singles elimination bags, tournament. Already. The winner of this World Cup I I do, will get I a get number get one contender ship for the Intercontinental Championship at Gunther. I presume at Survivor Series. That's I don't know why something. it would not be at Survivor Series. Not. You probably want all hands on deck. You want that? For Survivor Series. You want that too? I think that would be a great way to showcase the Intercontinental Championship on top of everything that we've done so far with the IC title. They want it too. Sami Zayn is in this tournament. We had two We had two matches, two first-round matches tonight. We had Santos Escobar and Shinsuke Nakamura. Santos is in the next round. And then we have Braun Strowman God, versus Jinder Mahal. Shit, but and that was a quick squash cold, there. So. Braun Strowman, he's in his own hot water. We'll get into yeah. that a little later. Well, but it looks like we may be well, setting so up for some West interesting matches. Flip, floppy, floppy, flippy. potential final uh, for a World Bay, Cup. Paco, so we could be shit. looking at what a rematch say, between Ricochet and Gunther. Gunther. Oh, we could boy. be looking at a first-time Why match between Gunther West and Braun Strowman, which is flip, a very interesting uh, prospect. Go see Bay, Paco, a very all interesting all option to go with. Sami Zayn is always an interesting option. That could be one of the ways that the bloodline kind of lose Sami Zayn and they... Kind of get rid of them. They want to get rid Listen, of them. Listen, we all have championships, right? Solo Sokoa had his championship. Where's your championship? So we could be looking at Sami Zayn potentially winning that tournament. So, 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 uh, so, so when uh, that North American title. Mustafa Ali's in this tournament coming over from Monday Night Raw. I got news on why he's in the tournament when he's a Monday Night Raw superstar. Lots of different options for the World Cup. So we'll go over that yeah. as we had two first round matches tonight. Mm-hmm. Sarah Logan made her return to the WWE. She is now with Ivar and Eric of the Viking Raiders. The Lady Viking. Yeah. WWE in regards to Sarah Logan. Shotzi Blackheart is the new, the new number one contender for Ronda Rousey. Yawn, snore, give me a pillow, put Shanti me to sleep. Bu- Shotzi versus Ronda. Why? Give me Shayna Why? Bay. That's all I care at this point. Just give me more Shayna Bay. So Shotzi Blackheart and Ronda Rousey at War Games. Yeah, I'll tell games. you why it's so ironic that they chose Shashi going into Boston and going into war games for yeah. the SmackDown Women's Championship. And Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Competition Bray with LA Wyatt Knight. was on the show tonight. We and didn't get any more cryptic than we, we didn't get any QR code. We didn't get Uncle Howdy. We got Bray Wyatt. The Bray Wyatt competition with LA Knight. With LA Knight. LA Knight's Bray Wyatt competition. I don't know why. The I competition with Bray Wyatt and LA Knight. LA Knight and Bray Wyatt. What the hell did that altercation mean for Bray Wyatt? What does that is mean then? To enlist what does Bray it mean Wyatt? then? Is he to feed on the cockiness and the anger. What the fuck does that it mean then? What does it mean then? Does he need to feed his appetite? He did feed I don't it. know. He doesn't feed the appetite. Very, food. very, very unexpected stare down and promo back and forth between Bray Wyatt and LA Knight. So we'll talk about that. Amongst Amos other things, this evening on the nails, SmackDown folks. post show we'll right here on nails. Off the Script, man. We got a decent crowd in here, man. 1,500 on a Friday night. I know there's a lot of other things you could be doing on I was Friday abs- night. I was absent on I'm Wednesday. I'm glad you're joining me. I was absent on Wednesday. On your WWE because it's stupid, it's stupid Division 2 game. Couple of things happened today, man. Let me talk to you. Mm-hmm. Couple of things happened. Yeah. Today. 
Uh, I got a new camera, so if I look a little different from the last camera, I don't know if you guys can tell. You got the camera uh, I still got to mess with the settings. This is the best that a I've different gotten camera. today. You got a different camera, though. But I got myself a new Elgato camera. Elgato. And this is the result. So yeah, new Elgato hopefully camera. I look good and I sound good. New Elgato camera. Shit. You new, Elgato, new Elgato camera. They gave me access to the music creator or the creator music beta. You where I can buy licensed music now. You gotta buy it too. Got to pay for the music. I don't bro. know how it works. Got to pay for Apparently, music. it's only good for whatever they have on there. I, I mean, I looked through my entire Spotify playlist to see if I could buy a license for a song to use. You got to pay for the for music. my content. You got to pay for the music. Bro. Literally everything I listen to, ninety nine point nine percent of everything I listen to, pay for the content. Either doesn't have the option to license or buy anything, or you can't use it. Pay for, the, pay for the music which that, sucks. You, that, you, that you're going to use. And YouTube right now, which is absolutely fucking asinine, it, it, idiots. they're only allowing you to buy licensed music to use in regular uploads. I can't even use it on a live stream. YouTube is so fucking suck. So what the suck. fuck is the point when you want to push live streams and everybody's doing the live thing, we can't buy licensed music to do on the live stream. YouTube is fucking people, bro. Just a really, really bad experience with that man, I don't know if any of my it's content creators YouTube switch just like they did to me and Valentino, bro. And I have access to it. It's, they fuck it's over so just like they fuck with me and Valentino, dog. It absolutely. They fuck with Valentino. They fucking with me. Made me sad today. You wait for these things, and it's like, oh my god, new things, and then it's not what you really expect. And then YouTube, they suck. Also, they fucking they, suck. Have now separated the regular uploads from live uploads, live streams. These on the assholes homepage. are so fucking If you go shit. look at my homepage, you will see. I uploaded something today. YouTube's so fucking, you guys fucking you can go check uh, that out. It shit. should be on the homepage. YouTube's but before that, shit, it wasn't bro. showing anything on my homepage from nine days ago. YouTube is fucking up everything that you already nine have worked days on. Nine days ago was when the last time supposedly I uploaded videos. Meanwhile, I've been live every fucking night. YouTube is fucking up your shit. So if you guys uh, want to go shit. catch up with my stuff, which is mostly live streams, you got to go to the live. They, they separated it now in a live stream category. They pussified you gotta it. You got to go to the live section on the homepage and go check out what I did. They pussified every fucking thing, too. Fucking stupid, man. Yeah, they stupid. They stupid. I want to make sure you guys are aware of that. They pussified. Anyway, they do, I do follow me on Valentino. social media at JD from NY206. I don't know what's going on with Twitter, man. Twitter's all Twitter. fucked up. Twitter's evil. I got a check mark. Twitter's you bad. guys know that I'm verified on Twitter. I went no, through the regular no, process no. of being verified. I, I got verified through my hard work and my credentials here online. That's and bad. apparently, Twitter Blue is going away, and it's a complete fucking mess. Elon Everything Musk. about it is a complete fucking mess. Elon Musk is fucking Twitter up. You got people out here imitating LeBron James. You got people out here imitating Donald Trump troll accounts. OJ Simpson was the funniest one I've seen. Yeah. So they stopped all of Twitter blue subscriptions. They killed it, too. I don't know. I'm going to go to Twitter. On mobile, about it says I'm, I'm verified through Twitter blue. If I go to desktop, it says I'm verified through the old way. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm going to go over there. It's really, really pissing me off. I got a bunch of unknown check marks. I got a bunch of fucking geeks in my verified tab on Twitter. I'm going to go to Twitter. Don't worry about it. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm going to Twitter. Don't worry about it. Everything's a fucking... I feel like everything is just being turned upside down. I'm going go to really go to Twitter. It's really annoying. I'm going to go to Twitter, JD. Don't worry about it. Yes, OJ Simpson was... This is what happens with Twitter. I don't know how these people have all this money. I'm about to go and to then Twitter. Don't worry about think it. of the ramifications. You got OJ Simpson troll accounts out there saying that he did it, that he killed Nicole. Yeah, Nicole. Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Brown Simpson. And then he's got a verified check mark next to it. He's got a troll account. I'm about to go to Twitter. Don't worry about it. It's unbelievable. I'm going to the notifications. All I want is my verified check mark that I worked my ass off for. Wendy Nunziato's. Anyway, follow me on Twitter. It's a shit show. It's bad. Instagram, TikTok, and Cameo links are down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications so you do know when I go live. Go check out all the other content on the channel, live streams and such. Jordan, Jordan I did an extra body. today. Go and check that out. We talk about the return of CM Punk. He's back in the public spotlight. He did some MMA play by play Thursday night. He looks like a poor man's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. CM Punk. But he's in good spirits. That's C all we can ask. CM Punk is on cage fighting. Uh, fight club. We talked about that. And WWE. 
ready to give a major independent name. It's CF Punk Ryan is on CFFC, bro. At the performance center. Go check that out. Oh, it's on the home page. OTS shit. Extra for your Let's Friday see, I pinged y'all. afternoon. I even went oh, to see the name. Live Let's stream chat. Go check that out. Aspinall. Right Let's see Aspinall. That's her. That's the girl Hit that, that follows me. Up. I need a thousand likes minimum. Super chats are open. Get That's them on the You guys know me. the deal. We'll hang out with our Curl Beverages at Let's the end of the show. And the membership, oh, man. God, Get them on in. Nice Always boobs. accepting applications oh, to the God, VIP please. one. No, she has some nice boobs. We have these nice boobies. Nice some construction boobs. going on in the venue. She has some nice boobs, man. Oh, God. There's a very, very, oh, very, God. very private. Oh, Underground oh, bar that I'm working on, man. Hopefully, when I get the rough sketch for it and give it to my boys over at DBH Designs, nice we'll be body. Oh, God, hanging out in what I'm going to call body. my mother's oh, basement. Oh, Lord. That's a nice body. Smoking hot body. We're about to move into a speakeasy downstairs, fellas. A speakeasy. A speakeasy. How about that, man? An underground speakeasy in the OTS venue. Who oh, man. Hot piss. The hottest Who would have thought, bro? My mother's basement coming it soon. Yep, the you basement. Gotta love it. The basement. And tonight's show is sponsored by my great friends over at Blue Chew, Blue Chew. Oh, look how sexy. Dusty Go JD is. at checkouts. Yeah. Free sample. Go dusty. check them out. Love them. Sponsoring the show right here tonight for the Man, SmackDown show. Oh God, she has some killer rag. Oh God. Oh God, please. Let's get into the SmackDown. Please the don't let my dick be hard over this. Over these photos, please. We got the Usos. The longest reigning tag team champions of all time in WWE against the New Day. The New Day before tonight were the longest reigning tag team champions in WWE history. They demolished. They demolished that? unintended. They, oh, they took. Demolished. Oh, no. And Why? Right. The Usos, after tonight, if they got through the new day, they would be the longest reigning tag team. The new team day's reign record is going to be broken. Of all time. The new day's reign record is now, broken. I know a lot of people. I've seen some people talking about this online when I had mentioned it. And I also saw already broke the record. You also saw already broke the record. Usos, their tag team title run is less than impressive. The Usos already broke the record. And this is my problem. They're new day's you, record. And I'm not taking anything away from the Usos. They are one of the best tag teams on the planet. Yeah. I'm not taking anything away from them. No, it's, you more than, it's more than. Just the Usos. It's WWE's fault. It's WWE's negligence. Yeah, it's them. It's their for fault. the tag team division. It's their fault. Yeah. They may be one of the best tag teams of all time. But Reigns like the Usos, and even the New Day, even Reigns like the New Day, they are only in number. That's all the WWE wants. They I can't, want can't to the record. They want to break records. They want to forget picks. about their, I'll their, their those, past. I'll Vince those, at least uh, did. Triple H at least respects the past much more than Vince did. Yeah. Vince didn't give a shit about the past. Vince didn't care. The New Day had a Vince very unimpressive title Vince reign. McMahon. No matter how many days they held it, Vince it McMahon was doesn't give a fuck about the past. Mid. It was very uneventful. You can't really brag about the length of the reign when really most of your title defenses came against the Usos. Who really chose this bitch? It's not really what I look at when I look at, oh, longest reigning tag team champions of all time. Longest reigning tag now, again, team champions. Now, the New Day are great. Ooh, they had that record. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that they're the greatest tag team of all time. That record's they're broken. Not. Uh. not in my book, anyway. Uh. Neither are the Usos. Mm -mm. So looking at what the contents are of their reign, it's not it's really all that now, impressive. Bro. It's cold now. The feud between these two teams is impressive. It's always a banger. Always, always, always a banger. We got a $100 super chat. And we need a round of applause here. Oh, $100 super My boy chat. Nick Williams with a $100 Nick Williams. super chat. Nick Williams, $100 Nick super Williams. chat. Nick Williams, thank you so much, brother. Nick Williams, $100 super chat. He says, sad to see the new day lose, but happy my childhood is complete. That record is Ash broken. Hatchum that record is broken. The new world champ of Pokemon after beating Leon. Round of applause for 25 years. Oh. Santos is growing on me. Oh, Santos is growing. I don't know how Santos got jumped. Not Santos. Well, congratulations why, why, why to Ash Why did LDF got jumped? Why did LDF got jumped? I didn't know. Ash Ketchum was actually a, a, a real-life fucking person. Pokemon champion. I've been addicted to Pokemon Go, bro. You got to catch them all with Pokemon. I'm actually going into the city tomorrow to get me a Mega Gyarados. And maybe a Guzzlord. I don't know. 
You got to catch them all. I got two right passes. I got to get myself a Mega Gyarados, and I got to get myself a Guzzlord, bro. You got to catch them. I may even go out and buy the new Pokemon games from Nintendo Switch. They look pretty fucking good, man. And now it's an open-world RPG. I love me some open-world RPGs. You got to catch them all, bro. Here I am talking about Pokemon when I got uh, sidetracked talking about the Usos in the new game. You got to catch them all. Got to catch them all. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, as always, for being in the venue and supporting. You got to catch them all. You got to catch them all, Pokemon. The feud between these two teams is excellent. Yeah. Not taking anything away from these two teams. And what did I tell you guys, man? What did I tell you guys? I remember, guys, remind me to get on, only get on JD's uh, chat Everybody room was like, on oh, Monday. I don't want to uh, see nice. another new day. <laughs> and also, Smash, <laughs> It's oh, only one what a fucking I don't get what geek. everybody's up in arms about. Those fucking geeks. Everybody's looking to complain <laughs> about something. They talk about the new days. Like the fucking record. people online that complained that me and Jesse were negative on AEW Dynamite. We like Dynamite. We're just unhappy with the creative direction. Do you fucking mind? That direction is fucking useless. Like, I haven't been praising, and, and Jesse hasn't been praising AEW for the last three and a half fucking years, man. What happens when we're overly positive? That's seemingly swept under the rug. That direction is useless. Everybody was complaining about this, and I'm telling people, calm the fuck down. They it's only one. They need to stop. And what happened? Once again this year, I was proven right. I don't know what you guys would have done, but this, this is a good TV match. Yeah. This is a perfect TV match, if you ask me. The match is good, too. World titles are on the line. The New Day is in a position where they don't want to lose their longest title reign record. So they're going to go out and challenge the Usos and put a stop to that, that record, because they don't want their record broken. That record's been broken. And what did we get? We got 30 minutes. The first 30 minutes of SmackDown were taken up yeah. by the Usos and the New Day. That There's a lot more positive that comes out of this than you think negative. That record's been broken. All you're seeing is the surface. Oh, no, the New Day Usos match. Boring. That record's been broken. What I see here is A, a banger. B, the New Day logically trying to put a stop to the Uso, so their record isn't they, being broken. They try. See, we got mega importance. They try that. They on failed. The tag team championship. They try that. They failed. Something like this puts a huge spotlight on the tag team championships, and it puts huge importance on the tag team titles within the WWE. They fucking failed. They were the first thing that you saw today, and they were contested in 30 minutes. Dude, they fucking failed. Smackdown they failed. SmackDown had that first hour, man. That first hour of SmackDown was great. We got this, and then we got Santos and Shinsuke Nakamura, which was also a very good match. And then LDF there's gets li- jumped. There's literally nothing for anybody to complain about. And then no. LDF gets jumped. We got a banger. By the Viking Raiders. And the Usos, they are still... Hit Row got WWE jumped too team. by the Viking Raiders and, and LDF. Right, so. There was no way the, the, the Usos were losing the tag team championship. Hit Row and LDF. They, LDF and Hit Row got take, jumped. The titles off of the Usos are going to be Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens when the time is right. LDF and Hit Row got jumped. Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Solo Sokoa were in the back in the locker room watching this match. Yeah. Obviously, with vested it. interest because they love it. championships are on the line and Roman does not want the bloodline looking weak. Nope, they don't. He no, don't. Sami Zayn. I don't know where Sami Zayn is. Sami's not Sami Zayn was not there. He was not on the show. He no. will be on the show next week, I believe. Yeah. The World Fans Cup. into an Usi chant before World the bell. Cup. World Cup. New Day Rocks chants were also heard. Uh-oh. Usos isolated Kofi. New Day. Yeah. They quickly took over, reversed the tides here. They took over Sent that the shit. Usos out to the floor. Kingston wiped them out with his trust dive off the top rope. Trust dive. Kingston trust and dive. Jimmy shredded shots, came back from a small commercial break. Usos took control again. Yeah. After Jay caught Kofi with a suicide dive. Yeah, man. Kingston, they cut him off from his corner, beat him Ugh. down, and Kingston was it's beat cold, down. Huh? For the majority of this match until he did make a hot tag. Yeah. Kingston and Jimmy were treading shots. Uh, fans erupted. We want Sammy. We want Sammy. Sammy Uso chance as well. What did Jimmy say? Jimmy slowed the pace down. What did, what did Jimmy say? Kingston broke free what with a say? middle rope drop kick. What did Jimmy he say? He takes Jimmy and threw him out to the floor. He fought off Jay Uso. Kingston went to go make a tag to Xavier. Jimmy pulled Xavier off the apron. Very smart move there by the Usos. So still in control are the Usos over Kofi Kingston. We go to another commercial break. Oh, yeah. Woods eventually gets the hot tag here. As soon as we're it's back, hot tag. he took it to the <laughs> Usos two-on-one. He caught Jimmy with the side rushing leg sweep. It's like the video Scored game. Scored a near fall on Jay. 
Woods and Kingston hit double team moves on Jace, uh, ending with Woods hitting a top rope leg drop. That looked beautiful for a close near oh, fall yeah. two count. Crowd yeah. went crazy off of that. It, it looked nuts. gorgeous. It went nuts. Kingston hit the boom drop, missed the trouble in paradise. Jay made a blind tag behind everybody's back. Yeah. Kingston hit an SOS for a near fall. Usos ran it. wild with double super kicks on both Xavier and Kofi. Mm. Followed up with the double flying frog splash on Xavier oh, Woods. The double, the Everybody double thought frog this was splash. it. And Xavier the splash. kicks out of the double Uso splash. The awesome. Super splash. Near fall here by the Usos in the new day. Wow. Usos were obviously upset. Oh, they, they mad? The match one did not. They, they set mad? up for the 1D. They Kingston mad? pulled out Jimmy outside. New Day hits a midnight hour on oh, Jimmy God. on the outside. In the ring, New Day hit a midnight hour on Jay. <laughs> they tried, Everybody thought they it was tried over. That. They and tried. Jay Uso tried. kicked out of the midnight hour. They tried that shit, Fans man. thought that was the finish of the match. They tried that shit They thought already. we had new tag team champions. They tried. Uso's and New Day were in the middle of the ring now. We had Jimmy, Jay, Kofi, Xavier trading shots back and forth. Big melee here between all four guys. Jay sent Woods out to the floor. Took him out with a super kick into the timekeeper's area. He was taken out of the match. Kingston fought off the Usos two-on-one. Kingston dove off the top rope, looking for a big one last Hail Mary move. A dove. And he got he caught mid-air in a 1D. Oh, boy, where's that? And the Usos go for the pin, one, two, three. <laughs> and the Usos retain the WWE undisputed Tag Team Champions. New Day failed anyway. They are the longest reigning Tag Team Champions of the modern era. That record, in WWE. That record is dead anyway. Excellent match. That record is dead. I have New absolutely Day. no complaints about it. This was served <laughs> as a one-off. Yeah. This was logical. It made for a great TV match. There was yeah. a spotlight on the Tag Team titles. Yeah. I literally cannot say anything bad about this. For anybody saying, oh, it's just another New Day Usos match. Pass. I'll Pass skip it. Out. Pass it, skip missed it. a great match. Was Pass it the best match it. that they've had? No, it Pass wasn't. It, skip it. But it did its job, and it did a lot of good for the Usos. It did a lot of good for the New Day. It did a lot of good for the tag team division and the tag team titles, and it made sense. And it was a great TV match. Easy. Oh, let me check. Easy. Let me check. When I watch a show, I do not want my intelligence insulted. This did not insult anybody's intelligence. This was innocent. It made sense. And I'm glad we got it because the Usos needed this win to solidify their big reign. And what better way to do that than beating the former record holders in the new day. After the break, Reigns is in the back. We see Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman stand up. And they're excited about their win. The Usos were excited. Jay asked, what do you think? Reigns kind of no-sold it. He stood up. He didn't show any emotion, yeah, made the Usos shit. nervous. He thought he thought that, uh, or they thought rather, that Roman was going to yell at them. Reigns smiled and he ended up congratulating them. He said continue. they've done what they needed to do, and now it's time for him to handle some stuff. Whatever that means, I yeah. don't know. It's very, stuff. very vague. Some very stuff. Cryptic. Handle some stuff. By That's Roman weird. Reigns. Handle stuff. Handle Whatever the something. hell that meant. Handle some stuff. Said he needs them on his side tonight because he needs to do things the right way out in the ring live tonight. Yeah. They all embraced. They all hugged. The solo stood behind, arms crossed. This Jago he did got, not get involved. Got pockets the everything in here. Bodyguard. This guy pockets. The Usos remains unfaithful. There's some pockets here. So nobody knew what that meant. I, I don't know if that here. had any Sami Zayn implications. This or got pockets, he was looking so. to call out the brawling brutes. I, I don't know what he was about to do. The brawling brutes ended up coming out and interrupting the bloodline anyway. But what Roman had some business to take care of, and he wanted the Usos there at the end of the show by his side. The SmackDown World Cup. The World Cup starts. I think this is a great idea. Oh, what's if that? WWE holds two men's tournaments throughout the entire year, what's that? Barring Escobar? any injury and any mishap with a vacant championship or whatnot, I'll be fine with that. I love the idea of a World Cup. I do. Santos Escobar. I think the idea of a World Cup is actually a brilliant idea. And it's something that I can get behind as being a yearly tradition for SmackDown or Raw in the WWE, leading to an Intercontinental Championship number one contender. World Cup? WWE has a ton of ethnic backgrounds, a ton of ethnicities in the WWE. Oh, yeah. That this, something like this would make sense. It does. And this match, the first match that we got, 
Clearly, you see it on display. Shinsuke Nakamura yeah. from Japan against Santos Escobar from Mexico. Yeah, from Mexico. This makes sense. Yeah, from Mexico. I love it. Shinsuke Nakamura, Santos Escobar, first round yes, of the SmackDown yes, World Cup. He's out there, is Santos, with yes, Joaquin yes. Wilde, yes, Cruz del Toro, and Zelina Vega. Yep. Now, during Phantasma and the entrance for Legato, Escobar says he won't just represent Mexico. We got a little picture-in-picture -picture, uh, promo. He won't just represent Mexico. He'll show Shinsuke how they deal with reckless people where he comes from. Mm. Escobar is great. I love Santos Escobar, man. His body language, his demeanor, his cadence, everything about it is just fucking. He's just so suave. Cadence. He's so cool, yeah, right? Yeah, cool. And I think there are there, there's going to be big things in store for Santos Escobar, man. I love it. Hopefully, you guys get on board with Santos. If you're not already on board for, for you know what he did in NXT, you, you should already be on board. The guy is money. The guy is this fucking city. Fuck. Nakamura, kind of cold. There really isn't much going on with Nakamura. And I kind of figured that Nakamura was being set up to make Santos look good here. And that's exactly what had happened here in this match. It went about 10 good. minutes. They got yeah. some decent time here in the first round of the SmackDown World Cup. They did promote the Shinsuke Nakamura and Great Muda match oh, yeah. on New Year's Day that they, WWE is allowing Shinsuke Nakamura to take part in. They promoted so that, that shit. that was something different. They promoted and that would that never shit. happen. First of all, Shinsuke would never be wrestling the Great Muda if Vince McMahon was there. And that would have never been mentioned. The Great Muda's retirement would have never been mentioned on commentary by Michael Cole if Vince McMahon was still in charge. Oh, he mentioned that. So... We got this I'm match, like bell rings, shit. we go right to commercial break. So most of this match happened in the commercial break. Yeah, yeah. Escobar hit a drop kick. Nakamura took over, tossed him into the barricade. Nakamura took it to Escobar again with an Inzuguri. He took it Flurry to of him. offense from he Nakamura. He a sliding him. German suplex, which he usually does off the middle rope. Escobar fought back by attacking Nakamura's injured knee in the match. Legato caused a distraction. This is where things got a little overbooked. It caused it. And I'm going to make a recommendation here because it seems like this is the same thing that WWE did with Andrade and Zelina. Now they're doing it with Santos and Zelina. I don't like it. Now, I know they're a faction, and I know that it's going to be something where they're going to use the numbers games to get the advantage, but it doesn't need to happen every time, okay? Legato caused a distraction. So we got Joaquin Wilde jumping on the apron, and Cruz del Toro trying to attack Nakamura on the outside. Nakamura, uh, he recovered from the offense that Santos was dishing out. Took it to all of Legato. Nakamura climbed to the top rope. Escobar cut him off. He then hit a middle rope phantom driver off phantom the top driver? rope after all the distractions. Zelina even got involved. Oh. Top rope, or middle rope rather, phantom driver, which is his finishing move, which is a Michinoku driver. Basically, he calls it the phantom driver. Phantom so the driver. One, two, three, he pins Nakamura and Santos Escobar phantom. is advancing in the SmackDown World Cup. Now, we don't have brackets. Do we have brackets? It's supposed to happen. The one. WWE announced the brackets for the SmackDown World Cup. What's I didn't really brackets? see anything online. What's the brackets? Let me see quickly if I could see Find the brackets. what is going on with the brackets. Find the brackets. Find uh, the all we got is the eight guys in the tournament. It's eight-man it's eight tournament? That's all we got. We got Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn, Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio, Jinder Mahal, Butch, and Ricochet. Eight-man tournament? Now, we got Strowman and Jinder Mahal tonight. Whoa. And we got Santos Escobar and Shinsuke Nakamura tonight. So those two matches are taken care of. Next week, we got uh, Rey Mysterio and Mustafa Ali. And then we got Butch yeah. versus Sami Zayn. Oh, Butch and, and Sami? Oh, yeah. So those are the competitors in this World Cup. Now, uh -oh. I would love to see, first of all, yeah. let me get this out before I go into any other intriguing matchups that this tournament could provide. I would love to see Santos Escobar and Ricochet in the final. That's just me. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at the original list. Rey Mysterio was pulled. Uh, apparently, Rey Mysterio was supposed to be in this thing. Where's Rey Mysterio? But I, I think they're going to save a Rey Mysterio uh, tease with Santos somewhere down the line. It could have easily happened in this turn. I'm going with Ricochet and Santos 
in the finals. That's what I would like to see come out of this tournament. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Look at Shane Santos. Now, as far as what I think is going to happen, I would love to see Braun Strowman go all the way to the finals, and I would love to see Braun Strowman lose yeah. to one of the men that he called flippy, floppy, flippery wrestlers. Flippy, floppy, flippery suck, wrestlers? And that they should oh, be bagging his groceries no. at Lowe's. Eh, it's Braun's fault. What poetic Arr. justice it would be for Braun Strowman to advance in this tournament to ultimately lose to one of these floppy, flippy wrestlers that he went on social media the day oh. after Crown Jewel Damn and blasted Braun. on Twitter. Damn it, Braun. That's what I'd love to see. What the fuck? Do I think that's going to happen? These flippy, I don't know. floppy, flippery wrestlers. Now, the realistic thing, God. the realistic possibility that we could all God see come it, out of Braun. this tournament. If this is going to really be a Fuck, intercontinental the, championship what, God match damn it, for Gunther at Survivor Series, what damn is it, the Braun. best match? What is the most marquee match you could do with Gunther out of the eight men in this tournament? Flippity floppity flippery wrestlers. I'd another rematch with Gunther and Ricochet. Give them 20 minutes on pay-per-view, they'd fucking kill it. Packing but we've groceries. seen that twice already. Who wants to see that again? And why would you put Ricochet in a position to do the third match with Gunther when you know it's going to be an inevitable loss. Oh. So Ricochet may be out of the question. Oh, come on. Mustafa Ali. I'd love to see him advance and go and beat Braun Strowman just for what Braun Strowman said on social media. Advance. I also don't see that happening. Sami Zayn's another one. Sami Zayn could win this tournament. I'd love to see that match. Probably. Right? Probably. That could play into the whole, oh, you didn't do it for the bloodline. You're Why not good enough. It? You're not cut out to be in the bloodline, but I think he's going to be in war games. So Sami Zayn is, to me, out of the question. Why do it? The only one left is Braun Strowman. Yeah. We could see Pete Dunne. We could see Butch. But Butch is going to be in war games. See, Butch is in this tournament, but Butch is already in war games. So why would he, unless we're not going to get the championship match at Survivor Series. But again, I, I don't know why we wouldn't put Gunther on the Survivor Series card. Do you understand where I'm coming from? This should be a problem with the titles. So if we're doing it at Survivor Series, Sami Zayn and Butch can't win this tournament. The titles need to be like fucking bought. So are we doing it at Survivor Series or are we doing it at some other time on a random episode of SmackDown? The WWE we're title, still doing it at Survivor Series. The WWE title needs to be brought back to Royal. So I think what we're going to get here is Braun Strowman win this tournament. And the punishment, the lashing that management is going to give Braun Strowman for what he did. The locker room reference? and their revenge on Braun Strowman will come at the hands of Gunther. I think we're going to get Braun Strowman and Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at Survivor Series. And I think it's going to be a colossal match. And I think it's going to be a show. And I think it's going to be Gunther beating the living shit out of Braun Strowman. What better way Gunther's for Gunther to solidify even further his Intercontinental Championship title reign than by beating Braun Strowman and taking care of him with ease. Gunther is a badass. I'd love to see it. Now, Santos, you know, Santos, I don't know who he's going to go up against. I don't. I'm assuming we're going to get Ricochet and Santos at some point. Maybe we'll get Sammy and Braun. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Nope. But Santos, I know he can't lose. I know a lot of people are already saying, oh, Santos can't lose. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Santos is going to be fine. A loss in this tournament is not going to, you know, hurt Santos Escobar in any way. It's Gunther not. and Braun Strowman is the only match I see coming out of this tournament. Yeah. In the final. If we're doing it at Survivor Series. Yeah. Maybe. That's just me. Maybe, man. Maybe. That's something I'd be interested in. Yeah. And I think that would be one hell of a match, to be honest with you. Yeah, man. We're all about Gunther. We're all about building Gunther up and getting him to where he needs to be with that Intercontinental Championship. And if that means beating Braun Strowman and getting this Braun Strowman match out of the way, then so be it. Yeah. So be it. Now, the one thing I did want to mention about Santos Escobar, you know, Santos Escobar needed the guys that he was with, Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. He needed Zelina. He needed all of Legado del Fantasma to go out there and help him win this match. I really hope that Santos. we do not get an overabundance of Legato helping Santos win. Santos because needs that's it. the same thing that they did with Andrade and Zelina. Santos Every needs match it. that Andrade wrestled in, Zelina yeah. was always there with a fucking her and Conrano off the steel steps onto oh, yeah. uh, Andrade's opponent. Yeah. We do not need Santos Escobar winning matches via nefarious means and outside 
interference every single time. Nefarious it's going things. to end up diminishing him if he can't win a match on his own. He could I understand he's a heel. I understand the numbers game. But it's not written in blood in the fucking rule book. That a heel needs to cheat to win every single time. Uh -huh. The man yeah. can get clean wins on his own. He's an incredible wrestler. He does not need Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde and Zelina Vega yeah. to win the, to win matches every fucking week. Clean matches. Come on. 30 matches. I hope to God that they lessen the outside interference and let Santo shine and win matches on his own. Let him win. Only use it when it's absolutely imperative. For him. It's going to be a little bit more impactful that way. Yeah. L.A. Knight. Yeah. L.A. Knight is one of my favorite things about SmackDown. It really hasn't made much of a splash yet, but give him time. Yeah. We got Megan Morant interviewing L.A. Knight. Come on. He said he should have been in the SmackDown World Cup. Yeah. I agree. Why isn't L.A. Knight in the SmackDown World Cup? Why not him? I love the fact that that is the first thing that L.A. Knight mentioned. That is the best start to a promo if you're L.A. Knight. Why am I not in the SmackDown World Cup? Not only does it make L.A. Knight wants to go out there and achieve, but it also puts a spotlight on how prestigious everybody's taking the World Cup to be. Put him in the fucking Come tournament! On. So he's in the back of Megan Morant. The monitor behind him is flickering. Yep. With the Bray Wyatt Firefly logo. Yeah. He said the tournament is all for knots because he's not in it. The screen started flickering Firefly images again and again and again. This obviously caught the attention of Megan Morant. Knight looked over at Megan and said, what are you doing? Yep. He looks behind him and he said, this is what you're paying attention to. This is more interesting than me. This is my time. He started complaining. He be, started to yell at the producers and brave. the agents. Be brave. Be brave. This is my Play. time. Play. This be is my brave. promo. All of a sudden, he sees Bray. He turns around and face to face, he is with Bray Wyatt. He sees Bray. L.A. Knight and Bray Wyatt is something that I did not have on my bingo card yeah. at all yeah. in 2022, and neither did you. It's a waste. This is going to be a little bit more difficult for people to uncover and pick apart to find clues as to where Bray Wyatt's going next. Nobody expected L.A. Knight to now be involved in whatever is going on with Bray Wyatt. My name is Bray Wyatt, he says. Yep. Now we can be friends. Can we? He says he can see the anger and rage brewing inside L.A. Knight. He said his whole life, people were telling him his rage was going to make him a monster. But the thing is, for the longest time, he's been pretending that he isn't proud of the things he does. I just don't know how true that is anymore. Nope. He said he knows what it takes to get respect. He asked Knight how far he's willing to go. Knight said that's none of his business. None yet. But he should go back to the locker room to play with his puppets and stick them wherever it pleasures him. None yet. Only L.A. Knight could tell Bray Wyatt to take his toys and stick them up where it usually pleasures him. <laughs> he said at the end of the day, it's L.A. Knight's game. Uh oh. Bray Wyatt all of a sudden headbutted L.A. Knight <laughs> and walked away. L.A. Knight stood up and asked, where the hell did he go? He went that, that away. That was the last we saw of L.A. Knight. He went that and away. And that was the last we saw of Bray Wyatt. He went that away. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, there's one of two things that happen here. L.A. Knight's going to be the first feud for Bray Wyatt. Yep. When that's going to happen, I don't know. I don't know. Of all the people to feud with, is L.A. Knight? That's a little shocking, to say the least. First feud could end up being L.A. Knight. By the uh. looks of it, that's exactly where we're going. Do I think L.A. Knight's going to be en enlisted into the Wyatt Six? Do I think L.A. Knight's going to be a part of whatever Vision's that Bray Wyatt is having, is he going to be aligned in some way with Wyatt and the Wyatt universe? No. Uh -uh. I don't see L.A. Knight doing that. I don't think L.A. Knight needs that. I don't think that's best for L.A. Knight. Well, L.A. Knight is uh, going to be L.A. Knight. Yeah. What I do think is going to happen here is that WWE is taking somebody that can generate massive amounts of heat and take Bray Wyatt and fuse them together here in this first feud 
And this is a great guy for him to feud with if this is the route that they're going. Yeah. L.A. Knight's very good at what he does. L.A. Knight can talk. L.A. Knight can shit talk the best of them. Yep. Right? Yeah. And this is somebody that is credible enough in the ring for Bray Wyatt as a return first feud and a return first match. Get his feet wet. Jump into the pool and dip your toe in there with L.A. Knight. Get wet. Get your That's feet wet. more likely where we go with this. Get wet. How L.A. Knight fits into all this, I don't know. Yeah. He's angry. L.A. Knight's angry. He's he cocky. He's arrogant. He Bray Wyatt sees that he's angry. Uh huh. And Bray Wyatt even said tonight that he sees the anger and rage brewing inside of him, and his whole life people were telling him his rage was going to make a monster out of him. Oh, yawned already. Oh, yawned. Is he going to use that oh, anger yawned. now towards L.A. Again. Knight to get that monster to kind of reveal itself? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe this is one of those things that Uncle Howdy is telling him to go out there and do. Here's your first target. Uncle Howdy. Somebody who resonates with that anger similar to what you did with your anger. I need you to go and look at somebody who's very similar to what you were and feed on that. I don't know. I could see this being a feud for Bray Wyatt right out of the gate to get his feet wet back in WWE. We haven't yeah. seen him in the ring in many, many, many months. We don't know what the man's capable of. We don't know if there's any ring rust there. How long are we going to go on with all these vignettes and these QR codes and these these promos with Uncle Howdy and the masks and the alter egos? we got to get him in the ring at some point. Let's get him in the ring. Let's get him some in-ring action. Fans want to see it. I want to see it. You want to see it. Yeah. L.A. Knight being in the ring with Bray Wyatt's going to get L.A. Knight to a bigger stage. This all works out if that's where they want to go. But other than that, I can't tell you. I, I don't have a fucking clue as to where this goes. I'm not even going to begin to try. Because like I said, L.A. Knight was not on my fucking list of things to do with Bray Wyatt. Shotzi Blackheart. She was one of six women tonight. Sonya Deville, Zia Lee, Liv Morgan... Lacey Evans and Raquel Rodriguez. A six, six pack, pack challenge. Winner of this match earns a SmackDown title match. A six pack challenge. Title a six pack at Survivor Series. A six pack challenge? What? Shotzi, Sonya, Zia Lee, Liv Morgan, Lacey Evans, and Raquel. <laughs> Raquel Rodriguez Gonzalez. Out there smiling. Maybe you should fucking have Braun Strowman. You, you know, you got to go and, and give some of that to Braun Strowman, man. He's a little too angst. He's a little too wound up. Yeah. Is Braun Strowman, right? It's I don't get it. Braun Strowman's so fucking angry with everybody. It, it, I mean, he should be the happiest guy in the fucking world. It, it, it's he's on when, SmackDown. He's back in the WWE. He's making money. He's over. He's popular. It, People are happy to see him back at a decent match with Omos that didn't fucking shit up the joint. His girlfriend is on the same brand. He is. What the fuck is going to be angry about? Let's go play a smiling man. Raquel Rodriguez. <laughs> you guys know the deal. <laughs> Yeah, I thought she was gonna win this match, Smiley Raquel. Nope, she ain't gonna win. Clearly not. She lost, and she ain't gonna win. Match went twelve minutes. Twelve minutes that I can't get back. If Shotzi wins, fighting. If she they're beats, all fighting. If she beats Ronda, it was uneventful and uninteresting. She means the heel Ronda. Everyone fought all around ringside. Morgan and Deville took the focus as they battled in the ring because they were uh, in a no DQ match. What was it? Last week? Two weeks ago? That was ball beat. I don't even remember. Morgan and DeVille, they were battling in the ring after that ODQ no match. Morgan set up the ring steps. DeVille dropped her on the steps instead. Zia Lee, mm -hmm. she caught Shotzi with a kick to the spine. Zia Lee and Lacey Evans went back and forth. This is, I know this is exhilarating. This is great stuff, man. Everybody's like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see JD talk about this women's. This shit, shit sucks. Ugh. This shit sucks. Zia Lee and Lacey Evans went at it. Crowd was silent, to say yeah. the least. Cyan, Lacey. Everyone was laying around ringside taking a fucking short nap. Morgan yeah. then comes back in. She ran wild, fired up on Zia Lee and Lacey Evans. That's she fire. caught. <laughs> That's that fire. She caught Smiley Raquel with a DDT. Deville fuck. tried to steal the pin. Like Morgan broke up the pin attempt from Deville. Rodriguez Gonzalez. Yep. Hit the Tejana bomb on Zia Lee. Deville pulled her out. 
Fans then, uh, I don't know what the fucking fans, the, the, all the fans, every time, man, we want tables. Uh, what is what is their uh, what is their fantasy about tables? That's what their fantasy is. What is their sexual fantasy with the fucking tables in yeah, these yeah. women's matches, man? I don't know. We're fantasy fans. I don't get it. We're fetish fantasy. So this was this was horrendous. Terrible. Whatever the fuck happened here, man, this was awful. Terrible. They botched big time here, man. I was like, Ugh. Bad. It was almost embarrassing to watch at one point. Bad. Fans broke into a We Want Tables chant. Rodriguez pulled out a table. She couldn't set it up on the first time. And she set it up eventually. She put the table in front of the commentary table. Oh, God. She set something up here with Sonya Deville, but Morgan dove off the barricade. She was looking to, I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Uh, she was, she, first, it didn't even look like she was facing the right way. It looked like she wanted to powerbomb yeah. Sonya Deville through the fucking table, and she had her back turned That's weird. to the table. You can't do a powerbomb with your back turned you cannot do to that. the table. You cannot do that. So she's facing the wrong way, what looks to be facing the wrong way. Liv Morgan is on the barricade. She jumps off the barricade. They were supposed to all go crashing into the table. Yeah. And they miss the table completely. And they fall to the ground. And then there's this, this ominous and just cringe-like hush over the crowd. Because the crowd knew they fucked up. And the crowd started booing. And then the crowd again chanted, we want tables. We want tables. I don't know. This looked bad. Yep. This shit sucked. It sucked too. They completely missed the table. They were underneath the table. Lame. Rodriguez, Morgan, and Deville just laid around. Yeah. Wade Barrett did his best to try and uh, improvise over this because everybody knew they had fucked up. Yeah. Rodriguez at the side of the table is what he was saying in the ring. Shotzi all of a sudden pins Zia Lee for one of the most anticlimactic and flat finishes you'd see to a wrestling match all year. Shoot, job quick. Shotzi Blackheart wins. Shotzi is getting a shot at Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title at Survivor Series. Long gone are the days of Ronda and Charlotte Flair at Survivor Series. Remember that? That was a yeah. good match. Yes, yeah, a snore Charlotte fest. and Ronda a few years back during Ronda's first run, right? It's a snore fest. Now we got Ronda and Shotzi Blackheart at Survivor Series for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, wow. now listen. Listen. I appreciate Triple H giving Shotzi the win here. I do. I think one of the things that he wants to do is get Shotzi to where he believes she should be because she's been ice fucking cold. And Vince did her no favors either when Vince was in charge. So Triple H has done a lot to resuscitate Shotzi. He gave her the helmet back. He gave her the tank back. I'll get to that in a second. He gave her that attitude back. He gave her, basically, someone to believe in her. Because nobody believed in her, and nobody was really a fan of Shotzi in the old administration. They just used her as fucking jobber feed for the stars. Yeah, That's all she was. Yeah. I appreciate that she's getting a shot at Ronda Rousey, but this is not the first time that we've seen Shotzi and Ronda in the ring. The first time did not make me at all want to see a fucking rematch between Ronda Rousey and Shotzi Blackheart. I'll tell you that right now. It was absolutely a car crash of the worst fucking way. I appreciate it. But I'm going to be bl uh, brutally blunt and honest with you guys. You know, going into this match and when the match was happening, all I'm thinking to myself is, do you really want to see any one of these six women wrestle Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series for the SmackDown Women's Championship? And if you say yes, you're a complete simp. Yep. You're a complete blithering idiot. Yeah, an idiot. All this match did is escalate the problems in the women's division. All this match did was escalate and fucking expose the problems in the women's division. There are no clear-cut competitors and challengers outside of Shayna Baszler for the SmackDown Women's Championship, and I don't think we're going there. Shayna is aligned with Ronda. She's not feuding with Ronda. So we're left with the fucking table scraps in the fucking division. Yeah. Which is what you get in this match. Liv Morgan has had how many times against Ronda? We're not doing that again. Nobody cares for it. Nobody wants to see it. Goodbye. 
Bye bye. Lacey Evans, she's been off TV. What the fuck does she? What What did she do to deserve a women's championship opportunity? Nothing. Zia nope. Lee, loser. Nothing. Sony Deville, loser. Nothing. Love Sonya. She's a loser. See, do nothing. Raquel Rodriguez, she hasn't been in anything. See, do nothing. The last time we saw Raquel, she was losing tag team championships to Damage Control. Nothing for Raquel. Then we get Shotzi. Zia, who's looked like a Lacey. loser herself. So we got. Six losers in a match, Lacey and one of them nothing. comes out a winner to ultimately be a loser. So he ain't do nothing. Is Ronda going to make Shotzi look good? Probably not. Bad for repetition. Is the match going to be the most forgettable match of the entire evening? Probably. Come to the pit. The only reason, the only reason why Shotzi Blackheart is getting this match at Survivor Series War Games. Yep. Is because, and how ironic it is. It's ironic, but it's also not ironic at the same time. Yeah. She's getting a title match at War Games. War Games. When the whole presentation of Shotzi is to come out on a fucking tank with a goddamn military helmet on at War Games. That was it. Yeah. WWE's basis for booking a match for the SmackDown Women's Championship had 100% to do with Shotzi's tank entrance at War Games. Yeah. That's what we're doing with the SmackDown Women's Championship? Yeah, it's bad. Now I'm waiting for somebody to go on social media and say that I hate women's wrestling. They say stupid this shit. This is the best that we have for the SmackDown Women's Championship. You have a pay-per-view that is going to be an epic show, and this is the bottom of the barrel for the SmackDown Women's Division. Yeah. We need to change things ASAP. Yeah. Ronda is not doing anything good with the championship. She's not any she's not adding anything to the division. It's nothing there. I, I don't believe I'm gonna I don't believe I'm gonna fucking say this, but Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. I, I mean too. do we need Charlotte Flair back? You do? You do? Do we need Charlotte Flair back on Friday night? Can you to add some fucking star power to this division? Can you? I don't want to have to rely on the android. I don't want to have to rely on that. Put the fire. Charlotte Flair is imminently returning to SmackDown for the women's championship. Nobody wants to see that. Nope. Nobody. But here I am. Here I am. It's legitimately the only option. <laughs> oh, sound like Transformers. Where's it's like Decepticon. Back on TV. Decepticon. Please. Decepticon. Somebody. Decepticon. This shit sucks. Decepticon. SmackDown Women's Division is fucking awful. Yeah. It is. It yes. needs... Life, it's on life support. Yeah. It's on life support. Yeah. Ronda Rousey is not it. Mm -mm. Shotzi's in the back. She's talking to herself and... Um, excited that she, she got this opportunity. She did. She acted like a Emma schizophrenic. comes up and congratulates Shotzi Yay, on her win. Emma. Emma said she could take out Rousey. Shotzi told Emma, well, you took Ronda Rousey to the limit. Not really, but thanks for the compliment. Emma asked if she's seen Madcap Moss around here. Shotzi said, uh-oh, uh-oh, you're crushing. You're crushing on Madcap. Now, Metcap and Emma, I mean, it's not that difficult to figure out. You go to her social media. They are an item. Emma's with Metcap Mac and Emma are dating. Emma's with Metcap. So it looks Cap. like we're getting some real life romance in storyline here on SmackDown. Emma's with Metcap? So Shayna all of a sudden walks up to Shotzi and said, Ronda will be giving her a beating of a lifetime at Survivor Series. Ooh. What you actually won was a broken arm. What you actually won was a broken ankle. Your ankle is going to be snapped like a twig. Oh. She said she's getting chills just even thinking about it. Shotzi said Rousey has never faced someone like her, and she will endure whatever she has in store for her. Shayna's like, oh, oh yeah? Oh, yeah, why don't you tell that to Rhonda face yeah. to face? I would, said Shotzi. Oh, yeah? Oh, Turn yeah. around, she's right behind you. Oh, yeah. Deronda's standing right behind Shotzi, and then Shayna chokes out Shotzi, puts her in a sleeper, Damn, son. and leaves her laying motionless in front of her toy tent. Just like Natalia. God, do I love Shayna Baszler, man. Just like Natalia. That was all. I left my ass off at that. I thought that was great. The best thing that Ronda Rousey did all fucking year, man. Just stand there, and Shayna applies a sleeper hold on Shotzi Blacker. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah.
Caleb Braxton, she interviewed Ricochet about facing Mustafa Ali next week on SmackDown in the World Cup the Caleb, first round. The Caleb Ricochet Becker. said this is his chance to win back what is his. He complimented Ali. Yeah. Gunther showed up with uh -huh. Imperi. He asked what he meant by what's yours. Gunther asked if he had enough last time. I mean, general. He got his ass beat I mean, quickly general. by Gunther. I mean, general. Gunther. He told Ricochet to fight with all his heart. Because he'd love to face him again. Oh. Gunther carries himself so good, doesn't he? He carries general. himself like a fucking champion. A ring general he wants it. Look. Yeah, he got to. Got so, to. Ali. Why is Ali on SmackDown? Why? Ali is on SmackDown why is when he, he is a Monday Night Raw superstar. Why I got news on this. There? And the update. It's According to Fightful, that is stupid. Is that bro. Mustafa Ali, he obviously, was announced for the SmackDown World Cup, and a lot oh. of people are like, "Well, isn't he a Monday Night Raw superstar?" Raw well, star. he still is a Monday Night Raw superstar. Raw Mustafa Ali, who was featured on Raw in a United States title program with Seth Rollins, was revealed as a SmackDown World Cup participant. I'm oh, assuming man. he's going to end up losing to Ricochet, which yep. should be a fantastic match. Don't get me wrong. Shinsuke Nakamura, Ricochet, Butch, Jinder Mahal, Sami Zayn, Santos Escobar, and Braun Strowman. All SmackDown stars were announced for this tournament as well. This led many people to think that Mustafa Ali had been moved over to Friday Night SmackDown. Fightful was told by WWE sources that at this moment, Mustafa Ali is still a member of the Raw roster and is supposed to work both Raw and SmackDown during the tournament. We weren't given a reason at Fightful as to why Ali was brought in as opposed to using a SmackDown talent. Yeah. Now, I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, this is, listen. Why do you use her? You know. Why do you use them? If they mention something on commentary next week, it's I stupid. mean, what big of a deal? What's the big deal about? It's jerky shit. Now, listen, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you that I, I don't want people coming over from Raw to SmackDown to SmackDown to Raw without any explanation. Triple H had given us an explanation as to why Baron Corbin got moved to Monday Night Raw from Friday Night SmackDown and Rey Mysterio wanted to quit. He made a trade. They did a trades. trade was made between Raw and SmackDown. They did Raw trades. got Corbin and Mysterio went to SmackDown. They got it's trade. an uneven trade, but a trade nonetheless. That's a trade. They explained it. I hope that they explain this next week. We'll have to wait. The only thing I could see, if they go out and tell us, right, on commentary during the Ricochet and Ali match, first of all, we're getting a Ricochet Ali match. That's number one. Number two, they wanted somebody that could represent this tournament outside of the United States, which is Ali. Do they have anybody else on SmackDown? I mean, we already have a United States representation in Ricochet. What more do we need? We got Canada in Sami Zayn. We got India in Jinder Mahal. We got yeah. Braun Strowman, who's United States, right? Yeah. We got Santos Escobar from Mexico. We got yeah. Butch from the UK. Yeah. Nakamura from Japan. International. What more do we need? We have two United States represent the representatives in this tournament. Yeah. Ali is going to give us another non-US participant in this tournament. Yeah. And if they go out there and say that next week, I think that would tie up the loose ends here because people are going to begin asking, well, why is he on SmackDown when he's a Monday Night Raw superstar? We didn't get it really, we didn't really get an explanation for that. Go tie those heads. So let's give it some time. Maybe they say something next week. And if they don't, I'll revisit what I just said here yeah. next week when I cover the show. Uh, yeah. Gender is Canadian, but not in WWE land. Gender is Indian or Pakistani or whatever. He is promoted to the Indian uh, audience. Gender is Canadian, yes. A Canadian? Mansoor. Nobody wants Mansoor in the tournament. Give me, give me a fucking break. Fuck Mansoor. Anyway. That's the only explanation. We get that next week. Hopefully, uh, it'll tie up some loose ends. Speaking of Jinder, Jinder Mahal! Yes. The modern-day Maharaja is the, back. The Maharaja. This is Jinder's first match. The during Maharaja. Triple H era. Yep. Hopefully, it's the last. Modern-day. Jinder Mahal stood next to the World Cup trophy at ringside. Maharaja. He said he's the greatest. <laughs> wow, man. What do you want to be? The greatest oh, WWE champion man. of all time. You know, Jinder is just as delusional as the Impact fans, bro. Seriously. Jinder says he's the greatest WWE champion of all time. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh, the greatest man. WWE champion of all time. He's a fucking comedian. I can't even get it out. The greatest <laughs> WWE champion of all time. What? Greatest WWE champion of all time. Fuck out of here. He's just as delusional as the impact fans. Fuck out of here. Fans that continue to say it's a great show every week. Yeah, I mean, people in the jam this week, man. Eight. What? Eight fans. Wow. Eight. Man, Fuck out of here. Listen. Listen. Shinder had about seven fans in attendance. What? Man, nobody Fuck out of here. Nobody watches the impact. Fuck the impact. Fuck him. Fucking ridiculous. Fuck Nobody watches Impact and nobody oh, gives a fuck man. about Jinder Mahal, man. Oh, God. Greatest WWE champion. Who's the fuck? Of fuck. <laughs> Stupid kid, oh, asshole. Man, fucking the WWE champion of time. I miss you too, he said. And yeah, it's not mutual, Jinder. Dumbass Jinder. Dumbass Jinder. He says he'll ascend back to his rightful throne. Oh, man. By first winning the cup. And then becoming the IC champion. Yep. Braun's music hit. Smash went two minutes. Jinder Mahal is squashed. He got. He did get a running knee off on <laughs> on Braun Strowman, and that was it. He's done. He got one count. Braun. Jinder's, he popped back up. Jinder's beat Jinder done. in one minute later. Jinder's power done. bomb. That's it. Jinder's two done. minutes. This match went, and that was it. Strowman advances into the next round. And Jinder's Strowman, done. I don't know. What property? I did an extra today. Property, you guys can go check wrestlers. it out. I pinned it in the live stream chat. We did an extra. We talked about Braun Strowman. Flippity Braun Strowman flippity, got major back to the right now. Bullshit. Over the comments that he uh, talked that. about. As far as uh, what he said on social media. Flippity Braun flippity Strowman flippity flippity seems wrestlers to have uh, a social can be media packing groceries and shit. If Braun Strowman wants to know what his problems are, just look on Twitter. All his problems reside on Twitter. Other than that. You know, they've said that Braun Strowman's been on his best behavior, as he should. I don't know why. Why is Braun Strowman yeah. acting the way that he is, man? He's yeah. got everything he wants. He's on yeah. SmackDown. He's back in WWE. He's making money. He's over with the fans. He's being booked correctly. His girlfriend is backstage on the same brand that he's on. Oh, what's the problem? Why? What's the problem? Here? Why, man? Why the fuck? So Braun Strowman, why the fuck? he gained a lot of criticism from... Uh, what you Several say? of his colleagues after he targeted the flippy floppy wrestlers. Flippy floppy coming flippy after his match with Omas, and then he called them grocery baggers. Grocery baggers. They should oh. be bagging my groceries over at Kroger's. Uh oh. WWE management is upset they're, at him. They're aware. They're mad. And they thought it was immature of Braun Strowman. Uh, he's been on his best behavior, but there may be some swift punishment coming to him. I don't know. I don't know. Gunther and Strowman seems to be the likely destination here coming out of the World Cup. And the punishments will be swift. Yeah. How do we punish somebody that's been naughty, naughty, naughty online? Let's put him in a match with Gunther and have Gunther shot the living shit out of Braun Strowman. You want to fuck up again? You want to go and do social media again the way you did at the Crown Jewel? You're going to the Gulag yeah. with Gunther. The Gulag. It's a very simple. Eat the gulag. It's a very simple thing. You gulag. Do you want to go to the gulag Eat with gulag. Gunther, or do you want to be a good little boy on social media, bro? Eat the gulag. Eat the gulag. You choose. I think the choice is very simple. Nobody wants to go to the gulag with fucking Gunther. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to go to the gulag. Selena Vega was in the ring. Yeah. We get the. She was there with Legato. Yes. She was going one on one, or scheduled at least to go one on one with B Fab. Oh, boy. I don't know who acts for this match, but Top Dollar may be the only one. Hit Row made their entrance. The Viking Raiders showed up, and they charged through the ring, sparing us from this inevitable disaster of Zelina Vega and BFAB. They attacked Hit Row. They beat up Ashante Adonis. They lifted Top Dollar up and slammed him to the mat in a double power bomb. Sarah Logan was... I guess she was stalking Zelina Vega on the outside. She jumped over the barricade and ran for the hills. Sarah Logan is in the ring. She dragged B-Fab into the ring and lifted her and gave her a swift headbutt down. And then she stood with Ivar and Eric, and we got Sarah Logan looking all uh, ominous-like. She looks uh, intimidating. With Half of her face is painted black. She's got this witchcraft look to her. She's got this witch vibe to this Viking witch vibe to her. She looked good. The presentation looked great. 
the presentation looked great. Now, my only reservations are, is it going to be borderline too gimmicky? That's what I want to know. Ivar and Eric were doing great things before they went out with injury. Eric, I believe, got hurt. He tweaked his knee or something like that. I don't know what the fuck the issue was. He was injured. He was out. They beat the New Day in that Vikings rules match, and they were on their way to becoming... Uh, maybe number one contenders for the tag team championship. Yeah, man. They're clearly owed a tag team championship match because they have been dominated. Well, and it. unfortunately, they got injured. Now Sarah Logan's back. The presentation looked great, but is it going to be borderline gimmicky? Yep. But to me, she looked great. She looks savage. She looks tough. Right. That was probably the best presentation that we've seen of Sarah Logan yeah. in all the times that we've seen her in WWE. Yeah. So we're going to give it time, man. It's about the Viking Raiders, though. It's not about Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan's going to be a nice little aspect, a nice little cherry on top of the presentation for the Viking Raiders, man. She's going to be that ominous presence on the outside. Yeah, it's all about Ivar and Eric. Yeah, That's what needs to be done. Yeah. Sarah Logan can do what she does on the outside and be a nice threat, a nice compliment to the Viking Raiders. We may have something going here. Yeah. But it seems like we're getting a Viking Raiders and Hit Row feud. I, I don't know who asked for that. Uh-huh. Who asked, Hit Row who asked for ice it? Ice cold, man. Who asked yeah, for I talk it? about my ice cold beverages, man. Who asked Hit for it? Row is as cold or colder than my cold beverage. Who asked, who asked for a boost know. ointment? Something who is for off it? about Hit Row. They who asked do for not like boost ointment? feel like they even belong at this point. Who's going to ask for a like boost ointment? They're back. Honestly, it just feels like they're back because Triple H felt bad for them and wanted to give them uh, a job uh-huh. with no plan behind it. Yeah. They need something. What that something is, I don't know. Mm. We need something. Because right now, there's nothing. And I'm mm. not interested in what they got going on. Yeah. The Bloodline. They're out there. Yeah. Roman Reigns makes his entrance. We got a loud Usi chant. Usi, Usi. Oh, oh. Heyman insulted the fans they in bad. Indianapolis. They bad. Told them that they were being rude by booing him. They bad. And then he says, Indianapolis, you are not very oozy tonight. You're not feeling very oozy tonight. <laughs> fans hated them. Reigns says it's not easy being the Usos' cousins. He was about to address Jimmy and Jay. Yeah. But then Rich Holland and Butch interrupted before Roman Reigns explained what he wanted to talk about. The Usos started laughing at the side of the brawling brutes. Holland says he's sick of the bloodline using the numbers game every week. He said it's fight night and they brought back up tonight in Indianapolis. Seamus' music played. He made his return coming right off of his marriage and honeymoon. And he's back and he had a microphone in his hand and the microphone kept going out. In and out, in Mike and out. Sheamus could not Mike's get dead. the Mike's point across that he wanted to make. Mike's dead. Roman Reigns then turns around and makes fun of Sheamus' microphone not working. Sheamus then says, I don't need a, a microphone, fella. I'm going to come in there and show you what I could do face to face. I don't need to tell you on the microphone. So they get in the ring, and the Brutes and Sheamus charge the oh, ring. They, they were beat down by the bloodline. It was a numbers game. Four on three. And then we got Drew McIntyre running out Shit's there. Cold, he marches man. out. He took out Jimmy in the aisle. He headbutted Jay. Yeah. He swung away at Solo in the middle of the ring as they were throwing bombs at each other. And the show Reigns ends. gave Drew a big boot to knock him down. Sheamus got up. He went at it with Roman Reigns. The show ends. Everyone brawled. Chaos on Friday and Night SmackDown. Ends. And the show ended. With it's, the brawling brutes and Drew McIntyre battling the bloodline. It ends with the to fight. close Friday night SmackDown it, clearly setting up what is going to be the men's war games match at Survivor Series. This is the brawling brutes with Drew McIntyre against the bloodline. Yeah. I'm assuming it is five on five. The advertisement does indeed say five on five. It ends with the fight. So Sami Zayn, I'm Ugh. assuming, is going to be Ugh. involved, and the other Ugh. is going to be Kevin Owens. Yeah. Kevin Owens is going to be coming over from Monday Night Raw, yeah. and he's going to be joining in the fights alongside the Brawling Brutes and Drew McIntyre against the Bloodline. Then the story can really unravel. That is going to be awesome. Not only does he have a bone to pick with Roman Reigns, because Roman Reigns owes him one, Sami Zayn is going to be involved, and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens inside the War Games match, man. Yeah. Sami's going to be put to the test big time. That's yeah. where the story is going to be. Yeah. You thought what Roman Reigns and Jay Uso did inside Hell in a Cell told a great story. Wait till we get Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Man. Wait oh. till we get 
Sammy and Kevin Owens in that War Games match, and Sammy uh -huh. does not want to fight his best friend. He's he's scared. It's gonna happen. He's scared. It's gonna happen. Kevin Owens has been off TV for this exact moment. WWE did not have any plans for Kevin Owens on TV because Sami Zayn got so incredibly hot in the bloodline as the honorary Oos, and now with this Oosie thing. They are now extending the storyline because of how over Sami Zayn is and how over the bloodline. Oh, the bloodline is more over now than they ever have been because of Sami Zayn. Yeah. And it may sound silly. He may not be bloodline. Yeah. But my God, is it great television every week? Yeah. And Sami Zayn. Great TV. And the reason why he got hot is because it's long overdue. Yeah. He's just great at what he does. He's charismatic. He's just got this natural charm to him. Obviously, it was going to rub off on the bloodline, right? He got himself over. He got the bloodline more over. They're pushing this back now. Kevin Owens, he was supposed to be interjected into this thing weeks ago. This was only supposed to be a couple of weeks, says Sami Zayn. Now it's extended. Yeah. So Triple H told Kevin Owens, listen, we're going to keep mm -hmm. you out. We're going to still involve you, but we're just going to let this, you know, marinate a little bit long. It's too hot right now. We don't want to bring you in right now. We're going to bring you in when it's time. Crown Jewel's coming up. You're not traveling to Saudi Arabia. Why do we need you on television? Just sit at home, spend time with the wife, do what you got to do, heal up, come back and be ready. War Games is going to be that time when he's back and he's going to be ready. The story that is going to be inside War Games, man, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be one of the best things that we see all year on pay-per-view. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You like that shit? Solid ending to the show. And... Uh. War Games is set up. Yeah, that works. War Games is set up. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. I thought tonight's SmackDown was very enjoyable. Enjoyed that. Very good show. Enjoy Not the best show, but very good show. Enjoy it. Easily bro. the best show of the entire week, in my honest opinion. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over the Super Chats in just a second. 13 minutes behind remaining but please make sure you guys hit that thumbs up man i need 200 more likes there's 2100 people in here at that gun for my morning hustle i'm gonna need oh, you to I hit that thumbs shit. up if you have not done so already 1000 likes minimum it's a minimum we need that thousand one thousand make sure you guys follow me on social media at jd from my 206 on twitter hit that subscribe button down below turn on the bell for notifications and please check out my sponsor for tonight's show, man, Blue Chew. BlueChew.com. Code JD at checkout. Yep. You're going to get yourself a free sample. All you guys have to do is pay that $5 shipping and handling, man. Confidence, bro. It takes you far in life, man. It's one of the reasons why I have a successful podcast on YouTube, man. It's confidence. That confidence... That also resonates in the bedroom, man. Yeah. Especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew is going to get involved. Blue Chew is a unique online service that provides the same active ingredients as Viagra yeah. and Cialis. But this time, instead of swallowing a pill, it's a chewable tablet, man. It comes at the fraction of the cost as well as both of those other brands. You can take them anytime, day or night. You can plan ahead. Be ready whenever that opportunity arises. The process is very simple. You sign up at BlueChew.com. You go get interviewed and consult with one of their online medical providers. And once you are approved, you're going to receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. No waiting in line, no doctor's office, no awkward conversations face to face. And Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they are prepared and shipped direct to your door in a very discreet package. Guys, I always talk about first impressions, man. Yeah. You only get one of them. You get one. How about that first impression turns into a lasting impression, and you're going to have that first impression happening every single time over and over and over again. You get that impression. Love it. So if you can benefit from that extra confidence, guys, why not? Blue Chew is going to help you out. BlueChew.com, code JD at checkout, $5 off. Ugh, All you guys going to do is use that promo code at checkout. Cool, bug. And you're on your way. And I want to thank them, as always, for sponsoring the podcast tonight right here on OTS. Mm. Let's start at the top. Let's start. Start up. Get your cold beverages out, man. It's time for Super Chats. Grimsley. Right, with a $2 Super Chat, I acknowledge Sarah Logan completely. 
Acknowledge the Logan. You look good. You acknowledge the Sarah Logan. She looked good, man. What acknowledge the Sarah Logan? Michelle Moran with a five dollar super chat. JD, once again, you are right on the money. You called the men's war games match tonight. We got it. And now the clock is ticking for Sammy's downfall. What's up, Mish? Michelle, What's up? What's one up? of the things that you have come to know because you're here every single night is nine times out of ten, I'm usually right. Oh yeah. Go for it. They don't call me the ace for you're no the, reason. You're the ace anyway. JC720 with a $10 super chat. Hey, JD, thought SmackDown was all right tonight. Introduced a few of my co-workers to your channel this afternoon. Was supposed to be working. Anyway, cheers. JC, I'd be very interested to know what your co-workers think of my channel. Hopefully they had nothing but positivity. Miles Marable with a 499. I guess I'm late. Just heard somewhere that Usi is Samoan slang for pussy. Wow. Hashtag OTS for life. Hashtag feeling Usi. What's with Usi and pussy? Yes. What's with Usi and pussy? Jeez. Yes. Uh, Usi is Samoan slang for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Usi and pussy. <laughs> Not today, Jay, with a 499 super chat. Shit. That was okay tonight. I honestly believe we will be getting a five on five war games match with Sammy and KO being the final members of each team. Indeed. We'll get it now. That's exactly where we are going, Jay. I want to shout out some of my members, man. Yeah. Go for it. I want to shout out. Yeah. Otis. Otis he rejoined and became an 11 month member. What up, Otis ENT? Not too long ago. What's Robert up? Dion. Yeah. Greg Rob. Goldman. Yeah. Larry Greg. Flavor. Yeah. Andy Cardenas. Andy. Fire Marshal Bill. Bill, what up? Anthony Nelson. Ghost up, Sniper 35. What up, Ghost? Skinner. What up, Skins? Immortal Phoenix Reaper of Virginia. What up, Reaper? Victory. Vic. 100 uh, victory. styles. Yes, yeah, he's Jerome Suttles What's and up, Big Rick. What's up, Ricky? What's up? Thank What's you up? for all of your VIP commitments, man. I appreciate you guys very much. Philip Newton with a three months. Why oh, does Philly. Sarah Logan look like Max the Impaler? Uh oh. That might be done on purpose, bro. I don't know. Max the Impaler. Oh, God. That's bad for them. Paul Van Tassel with a 24-month membership. Paul Van Tassel is on his way to getting a gold microphone. I don't need no gold microphones to do any of that shit. I can, First of all, I, be, I would I like to thumbs chat. up. I can be on radio chat. To say thanks to all no the men and women me. who have their lives I on see, the line. Plus, my, my grandpa died 24 years ago oh, on this day. Oh, no. Shout out to your grandfather, Paul. Dad, granddaddy happy, happy died in the venue, brother. Granddaddy died in '98. Oh no, man. Tony Brown with a 199 super chat. He says, "What's up, my friend? Tony Brown, what's going on, brother? What's up, booty meat man? Cheers to Tony Brown. What's up, Tony? <laughs> Gray meat. Jack Silverman, get the fuck out of my chat, bro. No." Yeah. Promoting unless I say so in the chat. Stop with the promoting bullshit, Jack. Get him out. Get out of there, Jack. Get out of the chat, Jack. Get him out. Bye, Jack. Get out of the chat, Jack. Nick Williams with a one hundred dollar super chat. Hit that road. Thank you again, Nick Williams, my brother. What's up, Nikki? Sad that the new day lost, but happy my child is complete with Ash Ketchum becoming the new world champion of Pokemon uh, after beating Leon. Leon. I heard that Rounds already. Of for 25 years, and Santos is growing on me. Man, I heard that already. I heard that already, bro. Once. I heard it once already. I right, hear it that. again. Jungle Boy versus Luchasaurus in a steel cage match. Excellent. Oh, I hear it already. AEW oh. gives Jungle Boy an easy victory at... Well, it's not going to be easy, but... It's an easy out for them to give Jungle Boy the victory as yeah. full gear. Because uh -uh. Luchasaurus cannot be pinned. Uh -uh. So long as Luchasaurus is not pinned and Jungle Boy escapes through the cage or over the top rope, we're fine. Luchasaurus is an undefeated guy anyway. Nick Williams, thank you so much, brother. Ali with four months. Hey, JD, I just want to say that Bloodline versus Brawling Brutes, Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens match is going to be epic. 
to see. I can't wait for that. Some people are saying it could be carry across, but I, I, I can't see that. Mm-mm. I, I can't see that happening. Mm-mm. Why would Cross want to team up with Drew McIntyre and the Brawling Brutes? Why would Cross do it? Why? Noah Driscoll with two months. Thank you, brother. So, Noah. Hey, JD, all ball as well. Pretty solid episode of SmackDown tonight. The Viking Raiders with Sarah Logan might have been my favorite part of the show. Weird. Oh. Nothing weird about that, bro. Nothing weird about that at all. Justin with a four-month membership. Thank you, Justin. The Tag Team Championship match was the best way to open the show tonight. Congratulations to the Usos on being the longest Tag Team Champions in WWE. Hashtag OTS for life. It's 1203. Thank you, Justin. It's 1203 uh, PM. MGM Bolin. Let's go to an extra. 13 months. Let's go to an extra. After Since this. a year ago today, I became a member. Absolutely no regrets. Cheers, my man. Cheers, brother. Appreciate you very much. MGM Bolin. 13 month member. Big Rick with a new membership. Thank you so much, Big Rick. What are you yeah. drinking? Philip Newton. Well, they won 99 too, but I have a feeling Triple H wants to get Muda in the Hall of Fame. Probably. Oh. I could definitely see it. Are you ready? Oh, see The in? Kingdom Kid with a 499. Oh, see Raw women have war games. SmackDown women should have a traditional Survivor Series elimination match. No. The war games match should be enough of the women representation on WWE's pay per view. Yeah. Plus, we got a championship match. That's we all get, we get. Relic with a fight off super chat. How's boss man doing tonight, brother? I'm doing good, man. Wanted to pop in, say hi, let you know that I appreciate everything you've done over the years. Thank you, JD. Brother, thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we ride it, dog. We ride As it. always. Yo, we, we Relic out, we with out. that great uh, Yo, we going, bro. super chat and responsible for the long-term booking intro you see on the podcast. Long-term and Black booking. MacGyver with a $5 super MacGyver. chat. I stopped listening to you because you are so negative. What? But I MacGyver, get out of the chat, MacGyver. you tell the hard truth like no one likes to MacGyver. Oh. Black MacGyver, I was about to block you in the first second or two reading that super chat. Get rid of MacGyver. But I'm giving you comment of the evening, bro. I always will say something stupid. We have a hater, $5 super chat, telling me I stop listening to you because you're negative, but I always come back because you tell the truth. That and damn no MacGyver. That, that damn MacGyver. MacGyver. Shout out to you, bro. That Comment damn of MacGyver. Comment of the evening. That damn MacGyver say stupid shit. Come on, man. It's all some stupid shit. Damn MacGyver. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. You, you already done the right thing, but... That's to close the up the venue for the night. I'm about, to be, I'm, about to, I'm about to ride. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I'm about to close this thing up. If there's news, I'll cover it. We'll if not, I'll see you on Sunday. Week. We'll close this thing up. Yes, Black MacGyver is uh, basically the JD experience. People don't like me, but they can't stop listening to me. People don't like me because I speak the truth. No, Black MacGyver. Don't fit their narrative. It's Black, the same old story. Black MacGyver. Uh, Furious Nation with 14 months. What's up, JD? South SmackDown tonight. War Games shaping up to be good with the bloodline and the brawling brutes. Guys, thank you for a great show tonight, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. Follow me on social media at JD from NY206. Twitter, weird. Instagram, TikTok, Cameo. Go check out today's extra. Oh. It's on the channel. Whoa. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. A thousand likes. Minimum. No questions asked. I already saw then that. I need that fucking music on max. I already, I already saw today's extra. I Guys, was... if there's any news, tomorrow you'll see another extra. I already if saw... not, I, I already... Sunday, live, VIP only. Off the script, just, Sunday night, 8 p.m. I'll see you guys there. I would watch an extra then, yesterday. Have a great Friday night. Have I a would, great Saturday afternoon. I would watch an extra I'll last see you night. Guys tomorrow or Sunday, right now on OTS. I'll see you guys later. I already watched uh, uh, OTS extra last night. Before that, before this. Let's see him. I'm going to end this. Let's go end just like this last one. Oh yeah, hey, uh, see you on uh, on the twenty fourth. You know what I mean? With Damon Evans's birthday and and one year anniversary of when uh when uh when JD from from NY two hundred six 
uh, and both can already see my uh my chat. Tell him, tell him that the uh that it sounds like Storm Eagle. Do two videos coming up uh on the twenty fourth or something. I don't know. 